Nisi Lexi, unleash the power of your creativity. Hello, everybody. So I am um, welcome to Nisi Lexi platform if you're new here you already know i'm a content creator digital marketer as well as a blogger and for those who don't know me for those who already know me welcome um i'm just gonna be waiting a few more minutes to see uh if people will join i'm just testing <laughs> yeah so first of all i just want to say um i have a lot of things to discuss today regarding some of the project that we're working on as well as i wanted to cover some two topic for today and for those who are just joining me make sure to comment in the description below let me know where are you tuning in from i know last time we had people tuning in from kenya india dubai so for those who are watching comment in the this in the comment section let me know where are you guys tuning in from i i'm just gonna start this session i'm just gonna letting a few more people to join in and with that nature and whatnot but before i go more in depth i wanted to say a big 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 massive thank you to ben and also a big massive thank you to sarah because those two individuals have made me super super proud this weekend they actually took a two-day trip to go down to ural where they have interviewed people and then they also gather some information for this project that we're working on they really 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 you know show me all the effort the dedication they made me super proud and as your big sister ben and sarah i am grateful and i'm humbled for all the stuff that you guys did and also for a lot of the stuff that we're going to be doing together to make sure that we are going to be continuing with some of the projects that we're working on it together um for those who don't know what the project is all about you guys are get to know about it more soon there are going to be a news article posted about it as well as a video documentary series that's going to be released soon um and i'm excited to share with all of you guys because this is one of these projects that is very personal to us and very dear to us and especially it is for our people in south sudan so shout out to these two individual ben and sarah for making us super super proud and hey cousin grace <laughs> yeah so i'm excited to you know to be able to kind of come also and share with you guys um the stuff that we're doing down in south sudan um for those who don't know i as you all know i'm a digital marketer and a content creator but apart from that i also love working with youths that are in south sudan and I also love creating i love sharing things that are in the market for anybody that who's interested in opening their own business or or you know finding side hustle or things of that nature we want to be able to you know to share the light we want to be able to help you and you guys can either a go to my youtube where i produce where i produce a lot of the digital marketing content just a free informational things that you can use whether you are a model you're an artist you are a business owner you're a content creator you each and all of us we need to know how to market ourselves properly we need to know the digital marketing we need to know how we can position ourselves in a places and platform that will be able to help us and in help uh, especially when you have a personal branding you need marketing to improve your personal branding and yeah and with that being said uh thank you ben yes uh i'm proud of you as well <laughs> so much so much and kazo i hope you're watching so i wanted to go into today's topic as to what we can do so one of the thing that especially if you are content creator as i said you're a blogger you know artist you're a musician you're a songwriter you are uh, a lawyer you're a dental whatever the field you are you at this 2024 coming soon or 2023 that we are right now you need to be in the digital world you need to have a digital present whether you're doing a big business small business or just like a content creator you need to have 
a way of engaging with your audience with an interactive best content so the best practice for example so in today's digital landscape we understand that capturing and maintaining uh, attention it's really a struggle for a lot of people so that's why a lot of companies will hire like a digital marketer like myself to help them with a strategy to help the planning and having like a dynamic way of understanding how the platform works so what kind of audience they can target so one of the most powerful thing you could do is that try to produce interactive content or material so what does that look like um try to have content that you can either a help your audience participate or engage with you and enhance your engagement so when we're talking about interactive content interact the reason why it's really good is because it will help you enhance your engagement and interactive promotes like active involvement you want people to be able to comment talk to you share your work and also if you adding surveys you want people to respond to these services so that can give you proper feedbacks and things like that and sometimes you also need to improve your, your information retention so what does that mean so actively participate in the audience more likely like remember people that are coming to your page or as an artist or as a content creator or as a as a healthcare provider or whatever or lawyer people that are coming into your page are coming in because they want to be able to learn from you they want to be able to kind of get information from you so when they're asking you questions or they're commenting try to reply to them and also reply back because this is kind of help with that engagement but but also helps with with you being you know that authority figure that be able to provide answer for them so that way next time when they're looking for information they know where to find they know where to go and if you're an artist you answering and you replying to your fans comments or your follower comment that's gonna make them feel like you know what we can relate we will feel like we're close to you because you're responding to us but you don't want to you don't want to feel too big that you're not gonna respond to your people because at the end of the day we know that if you want to grow big people actually help you grow to that level so you want to be able to you know feel like you can interact with them not feel don't feel too big you you are never too big for anybody you know so everybody's so important and your fans or your people that are supporting you are also important if they are interested about the stuff that you do and they're asking you questions try to also respond back to them and this is one thing that I would say always keep that in mind and you can also do some uh, best practice for creating interactive comments so like know your audience you need to understand your audience uh preference so what did your audience like do they like usually when you're posting like pinpoints kind of do they like it when you're posting just images or video what kind of stuff is your audience more engaging with you would know this by posting different things maybe you can post like a couple of reels couple of pictures couple of informatics and whatever you're getting most engagement with this is basically uh, a hint where the people are actually telling you what they want more I know for my page if I post a picture it has more engagement if I post a video it has few views but if I post like a long motivational code I also have engagement so and I know what people want out of my page and if I want to deliver the message I know what exactly to post to get the message across and that is why you need to study your audience what they actually like another thing is like also choose the right audience format so select the type of interactive co content that aligns with your audience if you are if your page is all about health science it's all about like you know medical things maybe you want to post more informational things like uh, infographic posters before after things like that but if your page is more like a music it's fun and things like that this is where you need to kind of post things that are maybe like a short reels tiktok your new music make like a ugc content like user generated content get more people involved to actually like create content that are relevant to your audience or relevant to the music trend that you're doing and then another thing i would also say is like try to keep it friendly um ensure that your interactive elements are intuitive and, and easy to grasp so make it more user friendly the language make it more easier for people to understand and people to be able to consume it so these are some things that you want to be able to do and then when it comes to like encouraging sharing you can also tell people hey like share my work or comment or here or whatever people in in the digital world they like call to action and some of these call to action that's why when you when you go to youtube 
all the youtubers will be like like comment and subscribe like comment and subscribe because they know when you tell you to do that <laughs> you're gonna end up doing it anyway so that is the reason why having that encouraging of people to do a call to action for you it will also help you and then last but not least i would say also measure your analysis so try to look into your analytic sometimes your analytic will tell you how actually how long people are watching your video for how often do they come um what type of engagements are you having with your platforms and things like that so data is very crucial especially when you if you are trying to decide to like run a uh, boost post or things like that from the data of your analytic you can know exactly what country is most of your audience coming from what age group is most of your content is coming for like, like content is being consumed like i know for me it's mostly east africa like sudan kenya uh rwanda um south sudan as well as ethiopia i have a lot of following or a lot of people supporters that are from these areas but where i'm when 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 i go to my youtube this is on facebook but in youtube it's mostly usa canada and uk so i know if i'm going to be creating content the content that i have on facebook is going to be different than the content that i have in youtube vice versa and then when i go to my instagram my instagram most of my following of it's actually for middle east so now i know okay what kind of content i'm going to be sharing on instagram versus youtube versus facebook page that is because each of these audience are very different so try to understand where your audience are coming from and who are they and then how you can and the data that you have in your account will tell you exactly how to do it hi stephen steven um Syra, hello how are you uh md f san oh my god i hope i'm not butchering you guys name hi for those who are just joining in comment in the section below let me know where you're tuning in from we have mc ben from south sudan and grace moody usa and mary selfie in canada so comment below and let me know where are you guys tuning in from and i would love love to know um you're amazing give you guys a shout out for the country you're tuning in from so another thing I wanted to also discuss it's um, person personalization in the digital marketing, like how to enhance your customer service. So we live in a dynamic realm of like the digital uh, marketing landscape, where it's continuously evolving. There's a lot of expectation with consumers are advancing at the very fast, rapid space, right? And then. Digital marketing is always evolving, it's always changing. There's a buzzword that, you know, a strategic approach, strategic approach, forecasting, deeper understanding of whatever, whatever. So what does that actually look like? Like, let's explore the significance of this personalization in the space of marketing and how digital marketing contributes to strengthening your customer relation, okay? So if you are a business person, you're an artist, you're a content creator, everybody that comes into your page and consume your content, these are called your customer because you're offering something to them, right? So let's kind of put it that way. So the essence of personalization, so personalization in digital marketing is basically involves like you tailoring the content, the product or the experience that meets specific needs for your customer, that individual that are coming into your platform. So it goes beyond just addressing the general situations with regards to your audience and then creating individual experience for each of them. So some people that who are coming to your page might like your video, might like your pictures, or might like your reels or whatever. So all of them are having different experience when they come into your page, depending on the content that you're posting. So the importance of personalizing that content is very specific. So that's why I told you content that I post here versus content I post on YouTube or Instagram is different because I'm trying to personalize this content to you guys because I understand from my data analytic where are you guys coming from and what are you guys liking and consuming based on the engagement, right? So when I try to enhance that customer experience is I'm trying to personalize by resonating with you guys more deeply and leading you guys to overall having like this overall nice experience another thing i would say is having effective personalization strategy so by utilizing like customer data so looking back into your analytic again leveraging the that customer data will tell you a story understand like your user behavior their their preference 
the purchase pattern so if you're e-com if you're if you're more like an e-com you're selling products maybe you will know okay how many products are getting sold what type of product is it mostly t-shirt is it mostly jacket is it mostly purses what kind of purchases are happening within your e-com and if you're an artist you can know okay which which of the music that you have from your album that people most likely listen to or download so that way you know okay this particular t-shirt or this particular song is getting more hits it's getting more views so I'm gonna be creating things around that particular album or that particular song because it's generating more traffic and it's trending so I can create a t-shirt with that song title in it or I can create a shoe collection with that song title in now you're going just away from just being an artist to a brand because you're taking in what people like you're creating brand around it and then now you're going to stand out as an artist you're going to stand out away from on, on the other others because most artists will just create a song release it if people like it they wait to create the next hit, the next hit. but when you see most of the successful artists what they do is they create a brand around their name that's why you see drake have ovo you know he sell t-shirts he sell clothing with the ovo october's very own and that's how he's known for it you know and whereas like some other artists might have real estate properties or whatever that they're doing and then you have a big artist like diddy they have wine or uh what's it called alcohol drinks that they're kind of like selling and things like that so each and every artist is different and now rihanna we have the fenty beauty do we have the savage fenty you know the lingerie collections as well as the makeup brand so each artist is start to venture out because when it comes to the music business you just, you don't want to just stick into just becoming an artist who sings and make album you want to also take it to the next level to make it as a business so that is what it comes when understanding your audience understanding what they need and what they like and then turn that need and want and traffic and and a love that they have for you from your audience to make a brand out of it okay um also try to have a website i cannot stress this so much whenever you are a content creator an artist whatever try to have a website website is like one thing that nobody will ever take away from you like for example a few years last year Facebook actually went down. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, they all went down for a couple of hours. And a lot of content creators lost their mind because they're like, oh my God, my brand deals, my da 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 But if you have a website at that particular time, people can still find you because your website, you have a full control about it. You you can create, put all your content in there, all your information, all your merchandise and things like that. People will always find you in your website, so you don't need to really need to stress about it. But if you're gonna be relying only on leaving yourself on these social media, let, what is gonna happen if this social media one day one of them is just psh, vanish and gone? Then your content, all your video material, all your pictures, all your images are all gone. Let's say, God forbid, you got hacked. All of these stuff are gone. But if you have a website, you can host them there. You can have a still a presence. People will still find you if these social medias are gone one day, right? So try to have that. And then if you are um, trying to have like a successful personalization, you can also consider having Amazon. So Amazon personalization products, so like if you're just selling products and things like that, you can use Amazon because Amazon will help people kind of like recommend them based on their browser history or their past history. And if you have example of product that are similar to somebody that's looking for whatever that they were searching, your product will also show up because Amazon will start recommending it. So, and then Netflix also. Um, Netflix now is becoming like this sophisticated personalization by analyzing like user behavior. So it will suggest you like movies or TV shows based on what you have like liked or watched before. And then Spotify also, it creates you like a personalized playlist based on like your weekly um, listening and history and things like that. So a lot of these digital platforms, they do have like uh, algorithm, they do have a data system that helps you to kind of personalize what you like and what you don't like based on what you're watching. Even in Instagram, if you go to multiple pages, let's say whenever you see a coach, you keep tapping on it, whenever you see like a cute baby, pictures you keep tapping on it and guess what the next two to three weeks all you're gonna see in your timeline is basically baby pictures or baby videos and 
content that is called the motivational things like that so whatever you tap on it engage with it you comment on it the algorithm will gonna feed you more of those so that's called personalized experience on these platform um in conclusion i just want to say the digital marketing space is very vast it's the personalization it stands as a as a way for us to establish and nurturing our audience or the people that are coming into our pages and then embracing the person the data that we have and from the analytic and the tools and the insights it will help us also kind of like you know tailor our experience to the people that are coming into our pages it doesn't matter who you are what you do you could be a content creator you can be an artist you can be a digital marketer you could be a blogger read your analytic understand all your data and those data will tell you how you can leverage and also grow your channel so my page i helped to grow from 1k to now almost close to 20k because of understanding the, the data behind it and also having a background in digital marketing and leveraging that so these are just some things that i want to leave with you guys and for those who don't know currently i am working on a big project in south sudan um that project it includes me ben and sarah and we have been working really really hard in putting things together so in the next couple of days you guys are just going to start seeing more buzz on it and what exactly that project we're working on um some of the pictures we will be sharing it shortly and some of the videos that we're currently editing putting it together and then there's also going to be a website launch for it um and i would want all of you guys once you have seen this project comes out to all of you guys come and support us because we are trying to help the community of lol in Ural. Um, we're also going to be going to Ye after and some other two villages once we have everything in place. Um, I just wanted to kind of like, you know, give you guys a little taste of what we're working. A lot of these people in these villages, they have a specific needs, they have a specific experiences. And that's why we want to be able to kind of like support them and give them things that are going to be beneficial to them. You know, we just don't want to be like one of those foundation who always going to come in give them things and run and never and never come back we want to be able to help them and support them with things that they will last them for a long 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 time and a big shout out again to ben and sarah for making this possible because they have been on the ground working really hard on uh, communicating with me daily making sure that this is actually you know coming to life and that we are working um uh, making sure that everything is in place I cannot stress how exciting and how proud I am for my team for to be able to pull this together, to be able to work on this. Um, and we were also going to be needing you guys help and support to make sure that all the stuff that we want to be able to bring to life, it actually comes to life because of the help that you guys are offering us. Okay. Um, for those who are just coming in right now, John's Michael. Hi um feel free to let us know where are you guys tuning in from um what city what country we have south sudan usa we have yeah we have a couple of south sudan in here okay i see you guys isn't it like midnight and you're still awake <laughs> yeah so for anybody that wants to join me in this live session so let me know i can add you but um i will give a short break before i start talking about the next topic and we can definitely discuss some other cool thing i hope you guys had a great great um weekend hi retro joy joy retro how are you john michael how are you and MD Afson, how y'all doing? For those who are just joining in, um, I hope you guys having a wonderful, wonderful Monday. A very, very, very special Monday. Um, Missy Lexi, unleash the power of your creativity.